Hello everyone, we're from NUS ISS MTech team, AI.org. As part of the reasoning system course, we shall be presenting on our team's nurse rostering optimization solution. Firstly, we should provide an overview on the challenges of performing nurse rostering. We should cover the solution benefits, approach, and architecture. Subsequently, we should demonstrate the solution in the context of nurse rostering Spring Boot version. Finally, we shall conclude and highlight some areas of improvement. Overview of challenges. An important aspect of hospital operations in Singapore is the effective scheduling of nurses in various wards, which is vital for the hospital's patients to receive timely care from nurses with the necessary skill sets. However, the schedule of the nurses' roster is very time-consuming and challenging due to the need to balance the intensive demands of health care and the well-being of nurses. In addition, due to the dynamic nature of the workload and unforeseen circumstances, rescheduling is also very common. Our project focuses on taking the chore out of the painstaking process of scheduling with the objective of reducing the time taken to achieve the best possible schedule in a highly repeatable manner. So here comes our solution architecture. Users can use their equipment like PC, tablet, or mobile to access our application web UI. Web UI is accessing web service through REST API to calculate nurse rostering schedule. Meanwhile, REST API is exposed by using Swagger, which can be utilized by internal or external parties like HR or finance departments. At back end, we introduced Spring Boot as the backbone framework. Spring Boot is a very widely used industrial standard. It helps us to build a lightweight and container independent application. By using our solution, nurse schedule process time is greatly reduced with parallel processing and easy customization of business rules. Improves quality of health care through, achieve, through achieving resources and skill use efficiency based on varied demand throughout the day. Solution can be easily deployed as a web service on-premise or on cloud allowing flexibility and scalability. Spring Boot framework helps to keep our application lightweighted and container independent. Solution drastically reduces manual effort through automation resulting in operation savings. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you our application nurse rostering Spring Boot version. So by accessing the URL, we will be able to log into the application. So here we provide three types of data set, which you can see we can select from this job down. Uh, it contains uh, the small data set contains one skill, four ship types, three patterns, and two contracts, which also include 10 employees, 28 shift dates, which is almost just a one month scheduling and 152 shift assignments and 76 requests. So if we, if we choose the small data set, the calculation process will be triggered and at the back end, the nurse rostering calculation will be in progress. After waiting for a while, the calculation result will be displayed in front end the screen. So now here comes the uh, result. So we'll be able to see uh, we're providing, uh, let me just maximize this. Yeah, we are, we're providing the front end the screen uh, in the table in the table format. The first thing you will be able to see is the uh, result score. We separate some into hard score and a soft score. So here hard score is zero, which means there's no uh, there's no break of the uh, hard constraint. Into the table, uh, we separate them into shift type. There are totally four shift types. They are just early, 
shift, day, late, and a night shift. And also here it indicates the uh, the employee's contract, which is a full-time contract or it is a part-time contract. Uh, the next two columns are just a shift day and the uh, the shift within one day. So the uh, uh, the the shift day are just sorted based on based on the uh, time uh, sequence. And uh, eventually, the last column is the nurse name, which indicates uh, in this shift slot uh, which nurse will be allocated to work in uh, to work in the hospital. Yeah. So. Uh, basically, we also enhanced our front end screen, which we added this pagination, so user so users can just use uh, use different page number to navigate to the to different pages, and also we provide customization that user can choose uh, how how many records they want to uh, configure for one page. For example, here if I configure it to be 50 records, then our screen will be enlarged. So user will be able to see 50 records here. So basically this is our screen flow. And the one more thing I want to mention is that we also expose our uh, REST API web service by using Swagger. So here uh, you would be able to see, uh, we would, you would be able to see if we uh, do this solving rostering. It is also exposed here. So we can simply just fill in this uh, file name and try it out. So now let's go back to our presentation. So there, there will still be some uh, future enhancements we are able to add. So we, we will be considering uh, the multi-tenancy to support other hospital industrial departments and uh, near real-time support also, uh, we can consider uh, the finance system integration for cost optimization and also hybrid reasoning system with machine learning models for SKU, uh, for SKU use and the demand forecasting. Uh, last but not least, uh, there is another web version nurse rostering application our team has delivered, which is a POC prototype demonstrated enhanced UI and multi-tenancy. So if you are interested, please read out our report to find out more on that. And uh, thank you so much for your time.